Why are you wearing that? I don't understand. What is this? What is this garb? Are you graduating from Gryffindor? <laughs> Mal has got her... My seniors graduate today. Yes, that. So she's got to be at the graduation ceremony. 4.30. Soon, and she's got to wear this. I get a hood. I you... never had a hood before. Oh, see I had a hood when I graduated. They messed up the colors though. Oh. They gave me Madison's hood. I didn't go to Madison. You're That's okay. They're supposed to give you the hood. Stout's hood. Stout's hood, yeah. Which is like... Blue and silver instead of red. Whatever. It looks nice. Oh. You're like a walking advertisement for MasterCard. Or McDonald's. Or whatever. Anyway. Gryffindor. Hell, yeah, Gryffindor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, Mao has got to go to the ceremony thing. And uh, because she's going to get out late, I am also going to go. And uh, I believe my parents are going to go, too. But we can't actually go to the graduation. Because it's a high school graduation. And tickets are... I don't have any tickets. Yeah, that. She doesn't have any. She's got one for her, so she can go. But that's it. So we don't actually get to go, but we're going to go do things in place in the area. And then uh, whenever she's done, we'll come back home and, and bring her See home. See my genius button? Genius button? So it doesn't choke me. Wait, that button wasn't there? No, I sewed it. Oh. That's why I asked you for a button. Oh. That makes sense now. Wait, why on earth would they give you this little thing if there was no button? You're supposed to hook it to the zipper, but the zipper's way up here. So oh, and, be that, like... and that doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah, okay. Well, good job. You're smart. You got them brains, Noggin. Good job. <laughs> You're not as well as that way. You should. We just dropped Mal off here at uh, Coastal University, actually. It's not being held at the high school. And uh, I've never actually been over here to Coastal University. A lot of my friends went here, but I've I've never been over here. What? I mean, it's a clog. Actually, I have been here. You took your SATs here. I did? I don't remember that. Actually, the reason I remember coming over here is uh, my history teacher in high school was a big time uh, author, Civil War author, and he actually produced some documentaries and they were like the screenings were shown here. That's why I've been here. Anyway, Mao has got to do this graduation thing for the next few hours and we're not allowed to go. So, um, we're gonna get a bite to eat somewhere. What do you guys want? Whatever sounds good to you. What sounds good to me? Variety sounded good. These little hamburgers with ranch, uh, boneless chicken wings, and Southwest egg rolls at Chili's. These got a lot smaller though. These used to be a lot bigger, but whatever. I've tried it all and it's good. And you guys did soup and salad, which is very, very typical. Very typical. After we ate, I ran across the street to the uh, to the pawn shop because I've gotten a few things at the pawn shop before, although normally it's garbage. And it was garbage. It was like a copy of Rad Racer, a copy of Duck Hunt, and then a copy of some sports game for SNES that I had never heard of. And I was like, hmm, I think I'll look this up. Then I looked it up and it was worthless. So, yeah. No games today, but that's okay. Uh, we're actually going to have to go get Mal soon. Let's probably do that. That took a lot longer than I imagined it would. But hey, you did it. Yeah. How was it? Good. I had to take the bus up to school. And then I take the bus, or I took the car up to school and I took a bus back with mm -hmm. police escort. That was exciting. Yeah. And um, then I got, to sit, I got to stand there for two hours, and then I got to sit there for a whole, all of graduation, and then I had to clean up chairs. So you want me to go back to 544 Eight. and go that way, or yeah. what? But was it fun? It was fun. Being on the staff side of a graduation? It was interesting. That's got to be they led, different. They led the, all the staff out first, and then we all sort of made like a clap tunnel where we all clapped and all the seniors came out. And they were all giving us hugs like the ones we knew. Yeah. Can you cool. Like, <laughs> As one final note for today, when we were coming home, there was a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Mal, I don't even know if you saw the hitchhiker. I'm guessing yeah. you did. Okay. There was a hitchhiker on the side of the road. Now keep in mind, it was at that time probably like 9.30. So it was 9.30 p.m. It was pitch black outside and it was raining. Okay. This guy 
was standing on the side of the road in weeds that were above his waistline. <laughs> Just envision this for me if you can. There's a man <laughs> standing on the side of the road in the pitch black rain with, and he's like, you can't even see him like, because there's, like, weeds and stuff all the way up, the grass is growing all the way up to here, and he's just standing there. You don't even see him until the car is going around the turn, and you see a figure standing there, and when you get close enough, it's just this guy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Who's gonna pick him up? Who? Like, <laughs> you, it, it's, it's hard enough to pick up hitchhikers in the day, right? Like, uh, I mean, sometimes, I, I would say most times, dependent upon whether you're someone who picks up hitchhikers or not, it's probably going to be completely dependent upon their appearance. It's not that you are judging them based on their sex or their race or whatever. It's that you're judging them based on whether they appear like they want to kill you. <laughs> this guy just, hmm, he might as well have had a hockey mask and a chainsaw. I mean, that's, that's the way I, f I, I felt about it. I was like, man, that was, that was creepy. That was creepy. And I think the worst part is that he could have went up the road like, like a quarter of a mile to a gas station and stood like outside the gas station or something. Much creepier to go around the turn and just see a guy standing there in the rain at almost 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. Anyway, you can talk about hitchhikers if you want. You can talk about high school graduation because apparently that went on. Um, either way, thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? I have kind of like a little logo-ish thing up there in the style of the Stephen Plays and Stephen Vlog logo. Yeah, I'm naked! And I really don't give a crap because it's not giving me any armor points anyway, so uh, it doesn't actually matter.